Hey, good morning, Coach Fanner here. I've been meaning to make this video for a while. Uh, it's gonna cover one of my favorite exercises and not just the exercise, but why we do it. So if you're here to watch the exercise, that's great, stick around, but I also want you to listen to why it's so important because without the why, this exercise won't do any good for you. So everybody wants to know about how to make their core stronger uh, and how to make their core look better. Uh, but the reality is there are two layers of the core. There's the inner core and the outer core. Now, if you want to train the outer core, you got your classic exercises, crunches, bicycles, sit-ups, planks. Uh, planks may hits the inner core as well. Uh, but I'm going to be talking about breathing. Okay? Specifically, this exercise is called crocodile breathing. And it's drawing to your inner core, the muscles of your diaphragm, and your multifidi, which are located in between your vertebrae. And when your inner core is engaged, this allows your body to be relaxed when you are at rest uh, because those muscles are responsible for holding your posture. If they're not engaged, your outer core muscles are responsible for holding your posture. And now they're constantly under tension. And when they're under tension, they're not able to heal and improve the way that they need to. So crocodile breathing is a way to activate the muscles of your diaphragm and your multifidi so that your outer core can be available to do the things that it needs to do. Transfer power from your upper to your lower body and back and forth. I hope you enjoy it. Crocodile breathing. All right, you can see as I'm getting set up, I'm gonna cross my hands and put my forehead into my hands. This is important. Don't turn your head to the side. Don't look straight up. Don't put one hand out in front. All of this is important. It puts my neck in a good posture during my breath. Okay? Notice at the bottom, or I guess it'd be the top of your screen, my toes are facing outward. That's gonna put the pelvis in the position that we want. My arms are out the side. I'm getting a little stretch through my shoulders. My rib cage is putting, pushing into the ground which is putting it where we want it as well, okay? Now as I'm here, I'm gonna breathe in through my nose as deeply as I can. And as I breathe, I'm gonna feel the floor pushing back against me. And I wanna push back against that floor as long and deeply as possible. Once it's as filled as I can get it, I'm gonna fully empty that breath and repeat. Okay. When we fully reach inhalation and fully reach exhalation, this is when our diaphragm is engaged. Now, how long do you need to do this? You're going to be surprised, but you need a full five minutes of breathing to get the benefit out of this exercise. You say, Coach, this takes so long. I'm not even moving. I understand that, but this is going to set up the rest of your workout so that your core and your spine and your pelvis and your upper back and your shoulders are all in the right position. Take the time on this. Trust the process. It was going to give you tremendous benefit, not just during your exercise, but also afterwards.